Show the screen. Show the screen. Yes. Ain't you know, why are you so bitchy all of a I sudden? Just out of see nowhere. The fucking screen, bro. Out of nowhere, you just complaining and shit. Screen like, this. Show the screen. Screen show that. The screen. Screen this. Screen that. What's popping, everybody? I'm Jay the Zoomster. Welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Ayo. Oh, it's king shit time. Or I guess prince shit, more accurately. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I love this cutscene so much. Prince Fun Sidon. fact, this is the moment where I Epic. fell in love with the game. Because, like, I was enjoying the game a lot previously, but this was the exact moment I fell in love. This cutscene right here is where I was like, oh, this is a different type of game. <laughs> he a king. Bro, why this game low-key an anime? You'd be kind of looking like a JoJo character. <laughs> See, that's another issue I have with the the voice acting in this game. We talked about this back in part one, but, like, sometimes it always just feels like the voice acting in the cutscenes is, like, pushed aside and then we just go back into tech space, so it's like, why even include it? It always shows up for such a brief moment in time. Doesn't even feel like yeah, it's so necessary. It's just like, oh, wow. We didn't really need that. I'm just going to skip this. Who cares? Because he's going to be talking story. for the next 10 minutes as yeah. we try to get closer you basically and just, closer. just ask us if we want to get to Zora Domain. I'm like, yeah, let's go. All right, sweet. Thanks, King. Epic. He's so, dope, though. I love Sidon. He's my favorite character in the game. Other than Milfi Mifa over there, but he's mm -hmm. second. The Zora shit, like, in specific, is, like, probably the best I think the story gets at any point in the game. The writing is really good during the Zora stuff. And unfortunately, it only holds up, I would say, in the Rito. In the mm -hmm. Rito portion. The Gorons and Gerudo is just... Eh. Goron especially. Honestly, if I have any major criticisms about the writing in this game, I think the Goron shit is very, very um, underwhelming and just so bland. I guess would be what I would call it. It's yeah. just very bland. It's not interesting, I think, more than anything. Yeah, and it's like, I get it. And I like the characters there, don't get me wrong. Um, they're fine. I will say, my favorite thing about this game, and one thing that I that I really loved is... If you go into the inn in Gerudo Village... Not Gerudo, in Goron City. If you go into the inn, the innkeeper is so happy to have a customer. Oh, really? He's like, yo, everybody, a customer. And then a whole bunch of people show up and I, I feel obligated to rest there that night. Damn. Because it looks like they're so happy and they don't get a lot of business. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'll stay. Sure. I do. I'll show that off when we get there in the coming episodes. But it's real really respect's great. real, you know, that's how we... But like, that's another thing that makes the game kind of feel alive, right? To walk in and have someone hype for business that they might not have otherwise. You know another scene I really like in this game that's kind of underrated? Mm. The uh, the flashback, um, Zelda and Link are kind of talking, and, and Zelda brings up, have you ever tried cock and ball torture, Link? And Link, oh. of course, is silent, but then they just, you know, in fully voice acted, show it in, like, pretty graphic detail. And I gotta say, yeah, pretty, I wonder why pretty great scene. More, more people don't talk about that scene, because I feel like, like, emotionally, that's a great moment for the two characters. Right. You wonder why you Link is like, silent, and that that's, this happens to be the reason. You feel like that would be... Oh, fuck. Okay, King. Damn. He's going to do me like that. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, Aiden, have you ever tried cock and ball torture? I can't say I have, but if, <laughs> uh, if the hero of this game likes it, then it can't be that bad, honestly. I got to know about the viewers at home. Yeah. Um, have you partaken in the devil's torture as i call it <laughs> if you have like the video if you hadn't uh like the video and then we'll tally up <laughs> the results by seeing how many likes we have and we'll be able to know yeah it'll be exciting how how you guys <laughs> how you guys voted also if you lie we'll be able to know so right if you dislike the video then that means you know you just lied straight up so yeah we can't we can't have liars on the channel so if you lie, I will find you and cut your balls off. Yeah. The LHC motto is uh, snitches get stitches. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a porn star named Johnny Sins. And um, <laughs> in, uh, in, during No Nut November, he released a video to Twitter that said, It's No Nut November, soldiers, so you know what that means. 
no masturbating and no nutting. Actually, I've included micro trips in all of your balls, so I will know when you nut. And if you do, I will track to your, I will track your location, come to your house, chop your balls off, and fuck your mom. All right, have a great night, everyone. And it was the funniest video I've ever seen. All right, goodbye. See you later. Yeah, it's just the fuck your mom part at the end is my favorite. He's like, and I will fuck your mom. You know. Well. Oh God. Bros don't follow the pack. That's that's what they get. So. Yeah, I agree. No, not it's November. Oh, my voice cracked. I felt like I was back in eighth grade. <laughs> that's that when you played scary. the game the first time in 2017. Eighth grade. So it's taking you back there, you know. It definitely is. Uh, pl- uh, is this our first experience with the rain? Yeah, it is. The awfulness that is that. My favorite Actually, weather um, element in Breath of the Wild. Can uh can the game stop taking me back to 2017? Because that was kind of a shitty year, and I don't really know if I if I want to go back 2017. <laughs> Fair enough. Breath of the Wild, kind of the highlight of that year. And that was in March too, so yeah, um, it really went downhill afterward. Uh, there was one time. So my uh my nephew's birthday, oh hell yeah, shock arrow, is in March, and they oh god oh oh god. Oh God! Uh oh! Oh God! Oh Lord! Uh oh! Yeah, you better be uh drinking and running. So um, you know. my uh my nephew's uh birthday party is in March, and that's you know around the time this game came out, and so this was like, I believe like day four-ish of the game of having the game. And we dead ass just went over to out to dinner, and then we got sick. And I just remember being sick and just playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and that's kind of an experience that you like grow to appreciate, or at least you know look fond- look back on fondly. Well, playing games sick is the best. Oh yeah, for like, sure. Like I don't, I don't like being sick in general, but I love that sickness gives me the free time to play a game more. I think is wonderful. No, wait. That was in 2018, so we'd had the game for about a year at that point. Um, 2017, I was also sick playing Breath of the Wild, though, but it's for a different reason. So, in Breath Came of the Wild, again. <laughs> in Breath, uh, when Breath of the Wild came out, it was like, what, March um, March 3rd, right? It came up with the launch of the Switch. Mm-hmm. And I remember it was, if I can find uh, the right date, Pardon my lack of gameplay. I'll go ahead and move a little bit while I do this. It was, Ooh. yeah, 7th. Dead ass, like, no time after the game had come out. I was at school one day, and I just got actually sick. Like, dead ass sick. Um, and I was throwing up and shit. And I got home. And I just I just played Breath of the Wild. So I played it sick both times. But this one hit different, because this was close to release. So, you know, coming home sick and playing the game kind of like really made this game really epic to me and i remember i stayed up until like 4 a.m and my parents went out and bought the strategy guide and came home with like dinner and the strategy guide and it was really nice and i was like yeah i'm just really loving the game and that's um, sweet as fuck it was dope they got an amiibo too so i was able to fuck around with the amiibos and so i really really had a good time that night despite throwing up (laughs) the whole day So it was kind of dope. Yeah, throwing up, not good. But, like, playing the game was dope. And I have a lot of memories like that. Like, later that night, we watched the the Season 3 Flash episode. Uh, Sadly, it wasn't good, but we watched it. And um, (laughs) I I was playing Breath of the Wild on the Wii U gamepad while while I watched that. Oh, yeah, you had the Wii U version. Yeah, I did. I was one of those. You didn't own a Switch at first. Yeah, I had the Wii U version for a solid solid year because we got the Switch in... um, we got the switch in that's okay that's why i i thought it was 2017 because i got the switch version around march 2018 and i remember being at the beginning of the game when that happened with my nephews so yeah it's um i had the game on the wii u for about a year and uh i was jealous of everyone with the switch because that version played far better <laughs> oh absolutely yeah that wii u version uh, the Switch definitely has some technical issues dealing with a game like Breath of the Wild. Imagine how the fucking Wii U handles it. It's not... That Wii U version really put... Not great. Like, tested the limits of the system. Oh, hell. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> and it's weird, because it was initially developed for the Wii yeah. U. But, uh, hardware, I guess. I feel like... Played a big factor the, uh, into making it run better. Had the game been released purely on the Wii U, 
I genuinely think the game would be lauded a lot more for the um the technical issues. And I feel like it would be kind of hard because at least when the game came out on the Switch and Wii U, you could be like, oh, well, the Switch version plays better, and that's clearly what they want you to use. But, like, if the game came out purely on Wii U, you could kind of be like, oh, this kind of a bad game. <laughs> like, this game kind of just running like garbage. But yeah. thankfully, that wasn't the case. And thankfully, we got it on two systems. Poor Rock Leaf. I love, uh, I love when Nintendo does that with uh, Zelda's or any game like that, mm -hmm. of, like doing a dual release. They hadn't done that since like Twilight Princess. Yeah, so it was, it's been a while. That's crazy. I am, but for that one, I kind of get because like those two systems are very similar in power. Like mm -hmm. the Wii is just a slightly amped up GameCube. I will uh, say the other one really had to add motion control stuff. I, but here, it's a pretty big jump between. I, I, and, and I really Switch, appreciate them doing that. Um, because for the, for the longest time, it was specifically a Switch, uh, a Wii U game. Oh, fuck. Right. It was advertised as a Wii U game. Yeah, so I feel like it would have been kind of shitty for them to just be like, haha, never mind, this coming out on a new system, pay for it, $300 plus the game. So I, I think that it was in their best uh, mind and, you know, and for, for the company to release it on the Wii U as well. But they did make that sure Wii U version uh, gonna be a lot rarer too. Yep. In coming I'm years. glad I still own it. I still own the Wii U copy on the physical copy of it, so that's dope. I still see copies because I'm Wii U collecting right now myself, mm -hmm. so I'm eventually gonna get it. But like, when it comes to priorities on the Wii U, those Zelda games are gonna be the last ones because I know no matter where I look. I'm not going to get him for a really good price, yep. <laughs> unfortunately. I have That's that's for Wind Waker, that's for Twilight Princess, and that's for Breath of the Wild. And I'm probably going to spend $40 on each. Unfortunately, yeah, that's just Nintendo. Yeah. I have Meanwhile, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, $10 used. You can grab it today. So if you guys pay attention to what just happened, they um they killed that guy. Yeah, he got ganked. They're gonna kill me too if I don't chill the fuck out. Damn. They're pretty good shots. Um, I got a little bit of clout on them, and I I appreciate. I that. love to play TP on this channel. You. I realized Twilight in like the coming in the Steve. recent like years after writing a huge ass review of it on GG, uh, I have problems with that game. But if we're talking Fair about enough. a game that's nostalgic and actually plays well at the end of the day. I, I, I still like Twilight Princess. But um Would you do a versus again or would you do a solo so, or cocom series, I Zach guess? Zach and I are really. still doing a versus of the game. Eventually. Okay. We're apparently waiting until the game comes out on Switch, if that ever happens. I don't know if it will. I hope so. But you better just eat. Yeah, I'm about to do that. There you go. If it comes out on Switch, we're doing it on there. If not, I'll probably just do a cocom with it. Either with okay. Zach or Probably Zach. I anybody. feel like that would be the best. Yeah. But if not with Zach, then anybody would be good for that series. But I I, I, could be fine. I feel like I kind of want to take a um, a break from from Zelda after Breath of the Wild. So there probably will oh, yeah. be a lot more of this. At least not from me. You might have it by from the like, time we like, get from like through this. If you by the time through. we get through this, I, I you know. We're probably not going to flood it immediately with another Zelda. Yeah, it's going to be like, you, we probably won't do that isn't Zelda. That isn't a main 3D one. Yeah. Like, 2D Zelda is totally different. Yeah, I could easily do a 2D one. I'd love one. to do 2D Zelda. Yeah. That's a fun one. But Kyle, and Kyle would probably love to do that. I'd love to do the first one now that I've beaten it. Uh, and Link to the Past, but I've never beaten it. I'd love to play before. through that. would be a walker. In a, uh, in, a, in a Let's Play setting. That'd be dope. Um, that being said, I am a Zelda stan. I, however, <laughs> do not... I don't dislike 2D Zelda, but I feel like if you gave me a choice, I'm picking 3D right. Zelda. Purely just Fair because enough. I find the gameplay elements better in 3D Zeldas. And they're more fun to me. I think that... And I, and I hate to sound like this, because it sounds like I'm missing out on a lot of shit. And I, I, I still do play 2D games, but that's kind of my rationale with games in general. If you're handing me a 3D game versus a 2D game, chances are I'm picking the 3D game. Um, but I still enjoy quite a bit of 2D games. It's just, I, it's kind of like that thing I have ingrained in my mind where it's like, 3D is more accessible sometimes, I guess. 
So you like you rather play mm -hmm. that? That's fair. I mean, the only ones that like I'd really like love to see on the channel is Zelda One: Link to the Past, mm -hmm. right? Awakening would be cool, but I'd love like that to be like a Zack thing. Awakening would be dope. The Switch yeah, version. Awakening would be dope with the uh, with the remake. Especially because Zack has nostalgia for that mm -hmm. one too. But like outside of those three. I don't really need to see Zelda 2. I don't really need to see a lot of the portable ones. Um, one, Link to the Past and Awakening would be the three I'd really like to to do. I don't know. I think it'd be cool to like have all the 3D Marios like beaten and played through on LHG at one point. I think that'd be dope, too. Uh, I know the only one we've done on this channel is Yoshi's Island, but that's not only a 2D one. It's more of a Yoshi game than mm -hmm. it is a Mario one. Uh, and, and Kyle did the first game mario one or the gba version of it rather uh game boy color my bad they're the same fucking yeah. all the game boys to me are this are the same in my mind i know they're not but still um but outside of that i don't think we've we've never done a, a 3d mario and i own all of them now pretty much it's still pretty except for galaxy one i don't own galaxy one anymore oh wow you still. don't own the best mario game I own Galaxy 2 on my Wii U digitally. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I own 64, I own Sunshine, Odyssey. I've been playing through 3D World recently, and that's been a lot of fun. 3D, three, uh, the, 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 uh, 3D World's dope. Yeah. I enjoy that one a lot. I um, own 3D Land. I'd oh. honestly love to play through all 3D Zeldas on, on LHG at some point, too, right? Have yeah. have all of those documented. Uh, except Majora. I'd love just I'm to not playing Majora. It. For footage reasons, it'd be high. Mm. The problem is, like, a lot of those Zelda games are 100 part series. For sure. You know? For sure. Um, and I know, like, well, why are you doing Breath of the Wild? Because I really like Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I don't know if I could sit through 100 parts of some of the other Zelda yeah. me personally. I want to go ahead and say outright and tell people that this is coming. I don't know if it's going to be a 2020 series like originally planned. It could be because I love the game enough. Uh, Ocarina of Time is happening on the channel. It yeah, it's it's something one. we planned a while ago. Currently, we're not really doing right. it because I'm going to be doing it with Kyle, and I don't want to overload him too much, and I don't want to overload myself too much, and I really wanted to play this game more because I played it a lot less than Ocarina. But Ocarina will be played on the channel because that is that'll that's, be that's my one. favorite game of all time. So I'd really love to play that one because one, it's my favorite game, so I know a lot about it. And two, Kyle knows a lot about it because he's kind of like really good at game design and everything so that'll be a fun one to, to watch can't tell you when just like with breath of the wild going on at the same time when that would happen yeah but for sure it um oh who knows I got yeeted it he hit you with a one two <laughs> that would definitely he literally took a tree and beat your ass <laughs> with the tree that um ocarina could definitely be a 2020 series though it could probably be a late oh yeah 2020 yeah. But I feel like Ocarina, that's that's games much shorter than this, so we could knock that out fairly quickly. It'd probably be a thing where we took a break from Breath of the Wild, yeah, so Jake yeah. could do Ocarina. We could rather than probably, OG with both. And it would probably be a case of just putting, you know, taking Breath of the Wild off the channel for like not even too long, like two months or so, to get Ocarina. Max. Yeah, to get Ocarina out of the way, and then we'll come back with Breath of the Wild, and we'll pace the series well too. You're not going to be like, we're not going to have the last episode of for a while be um. Korok seeds. We're gonna do it like with beat a divine beast and then go on break. Yeah. So that'll be dope. Because with a game like this, Breath of the Wild could easily be a hundred part series or two hundred yeah. part series. I feel like it's also the kind I think of... what it'll what it'll be nice though if like each of the divine beasts kind of act as seasons mm -hmm. and then from there we do a lot of the story shit, but like um for a lot of the other divine beast seasons there's going to be portions of those where like we just kind of fuck around for a little bit and that'll be fine too yeah. i know we're not really doing that much for this one but there's a very clear and linear order of events that we're supposed to be doing mm. so we got we had to do them so that, yeah that'll be dope i feel like like you said this game is super long this game in just my opinion really does benefit from a season's approach for lack of a better word because at one point what people are gonna people are probably gonna get tired of constant breath of the wild <laughs> so it'd right. be kind of helpful if like you know, after like 20 or so episodes, maybe a short break. By the time Breath of the Wild uh, is put on the hold for Ocarina, we'll probably be around like 40 episodes. Um, 
But either way, I'm not fucking with this guy. I'm leaving. I'm going on. He's awful. I hate those guys. Fuck whiz robes with a passion. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's a whole shrine with just like a shitload mm -hmm. of them guarding it. They're not a shrine, a tower. I'm not excited for that not one. That's, that's, that's the worst the, tower that's in the, the game. That's the tower. Yeah. Granted, uh, you LHG viewers, if you're constant with the channel, I've probably already been introduced to the season concept with the... Is it, was it the Jedi? Stardew. Or, Stardew? Stardew 2. And, Stardew was the first okay. to have it. So yeah, you're probably familiar with the season's format. Um, does Stardew go on breaks too? I don't. I haven't kept up with yep. that. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Stardew yep. does that. That's probably what we'll do for Breath of the Wild too. We'll probably go on some, some mini breaks. And, uh, and have some, some relaxing time. Whether that relaxing time is the show going on break for a season and or for another series to pick up the pace, or whether if there'll just be like a shit ton of episodes between Divine Beasts where I'm not doing anything, right? Um, but we'll, we'll determine that as we go on. Because this game is very I, I, not Let's Player friendly in the way that it's, oh, yeah. that it's <laughs> laid out. This is not a game that's super simple to Let's Play. You can do it. People have. There's a lot of them. But it's definitely a game you have to plan your Let's Play for. I I will say I'm proud that we've been able, in less than 10 episodes, we're going to beat the, the Divine mm -hmm. Beast, the first one. And we did all the tutorial shit. And we got a horse. And we did, like, you know, got a lot of good equipment. We're going to get a lot done in these first 10 episodes. Um, will 11 through 20 have that much progress in it? Probably not. Because no. I know that the lot... A lot of these other divine beasts take a lot longer than this one does. Yep. That's okay, you know. But we're getting you introduced to the game a little bit. That's it'll be fine. dope. Those will probably be some of my favorite episodes too. Yeah, so, it'll be dope to do that. I'm really excited for the future of this series because honestly, the series realistically is not going to be done for a while. So, oh yeah, it's just the nature of the beast. And look, we're here. Wow, what a gorgeous area <laughs> too. I love this place. It's my favorite. It's like, so good. Out of the domains, the shit slaps. I feel like the thing with um, another thing with the story is there's so much statue. there's so much culture in this area too. Whether it's told to you through dialogue or that you can just see from being around it, that there, there's a really big culture in the uh, the Zora Zora's domain and the Zora race and everything. Well, even the architecture like kind of gives you already an idea of like. Hey, if you didn't catch on, the Zoras are kind of pompous dudes with, like, royal gear. Yeah. And if you didn't catch on, come look at their big extravagant palace with columns and blue accents and, like, really, uh, like, almost, maybe not angular, but, like, sharp design. Mm. Um, and then you compare that to, like, the Goron architecture, which is just rocks and caves. Or the Rito architecture, which is, like, cool treehouse shit. Or the Gerudos in their adobe house. Each race not only visually looks distinct, but uh, their architecture does as well, well which say, I think is a really My favorite nice architecture, touch. other than this, this is the clear favorite for me. My second favorite architecture is honestly the Ritos. I really love the vibe of that place. Being it's up very in that chill. Area, it's so dope. Reach Sora's domain complete. We're going to talk to Big Fish, dude. Yes. <laughs> that dude's racist. He is. Fuck him. <laughs> He's actually racist. That's his whole plot. Ah, oh, you must be the Hylian that Sidon has brought here. Correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Why he Dorfin, <laughs> ruler of Zora. Mm -hmm. Why he friend? That object upon your waist. Is that not an iPhone XS double R 1080p camera? Hmm? Now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian Champion, Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean... Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know the characters changed. <laughs> the we don't Hylian have a voice champion. for Sidon, though. You can't mean the Link. That champion? It's just uh the four kids Sonic actor. I forgot his name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's where I've heard that name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths gotta go fast i cannot believe it the highly and champion link has appeared before us we have met numerous times i'll have you know ah so many okay. memories my mind is overflowing with nostalgia my friend let me voice the other guy the green okay, okay. green homie <laughs> yeah whenever we get to him the racist 
Yeah. Come again? Sleeping, you say? Hmm, is that why you do not seem to remember me? But surely you must remember my precious daughter. Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? Mifa who? That's an Aiden response right there. <laughs> who Mifa? <laughs> <laughs> who Mifa? I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. You say we were clapping fish cheeks? <gasps> Young Kiro, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain and my thick ass daughter. Yo, she do be looking kind of thick, though. Damn! Do you see that statue? Okay. Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I clearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Oh, yes, of course. Kind of new. <laughs> but first, it is worth nothing now that the <laughs> remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. He's kind of stupid. That is quite a feat, my boy. Ha 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 That is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. I'm getting a little tired of this voice. Now then, hero. It's a lot. I must inform you that Zora's domain is in... Oh, fuck. In grave danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. Vahu? Who Varuta? I shall do the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you do us you, you lend us your strength? Alright, here you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> King Dorfin of my liege, please do not speak so. Dasuke Hylian for help. Why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Well, uh, mm, uh... Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed Ew. this and arrived at this very conclusion? He is the king Hylian to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain... Nay, perhaps all of Hyrule is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. Again, I feel like I've already seen that game before. This is bigger <laughs> than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. What are you hidden? <laughs> You're hitting something like a pole or something. Bumping on the controller. Okay. Okay, king. Mm. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust those lowly whiteys. Oh, God. Uh... Uh, Muzu. <laughs> a hundred years ago, the abuse the power of an ancient civilization that turned Hyrule into what it is today. He is seething with rage. rage. Look at him. He's shaking. Grr. And that is not the least of it. <laughs> it's just their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been Wouldn't you like that, spread, though? right? A water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one. So you would think this would not be quite so critical of a problem. There we go. Sadly, the Thank rains you, have game. filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will... I fear the immune, immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the downstream area from us. There, Hylians live in great uh, danger. Yeah, I care. So glad they care about the Hylians. And, Unlike you know. Uzu. Hmm, the divine beast is crying out once again. Damn. Uh oh, I can't believe stinky. Uzu is so racist. Yeah, what a great shot though of the of the divine beast just rising out of the water. It's so dope. This is epic. They all have really good introductions, I find. Really get a good sense of like scope and scale. It is quite epic. Yeah, but can you do this? <laughs> Uzu, why are you flossing? I gotta show him. <laughs> I gotta do it to him, father. Oh no, Muzu Muzu's not a I gotta do it to him, my king. 
This makes the sense. The divine beast Valruta. You, Prince of Zelda, often study the divine beast. This is in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Sagan, who is quite a chakra snake for Zora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it showed the water. Oh. Sorry. I had too many Sorry. Red bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could I not safely them. strike it with enough electricity at once, the water would soon be returned to its full force. That is why I went in search of a Hylian that could help us. Link, I am certain you've already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you, help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So that Princess Zelda is still alive? Yes, in Iro Castle. <laughs> you guys not following along? I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time. They haven't been watching the Let's Just Play, as you guys. were. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> they, get, they haven't been watching the they series. cable in Zora's domain? No. <laughs> no. But if we regain control of the Divine Beast, they may yet prove useful in the sealing of Calamity Ganon once and for all. I did not know you Very had cool. such a grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous. Naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Oh, well, okay. Come on, Link. Okay. Let's have these roots together. Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Luzu looks pissed about this, yeah, he too. Yeah, he looks enraged. Please, take good care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Dorfin! Surely you do not really intend to give this this outsider the Sora armor from Kingdom Hearts. Countless generations of Sora princesses have gifted that armor to be the one they sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with their own hands. It's far too important to entrust to Stady Hylian. He really is racist. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? You want to go do it? <laughs> this is too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Hmm. That Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand. I'm set. He's in charge of educating <laughs> my dear daughter Mifa. Naturally, your dead she daughter. Means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost You're the to calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his I'm rumors. taking a piss in the domain, and you can't stop me. Hmm, but what shall we do now? Maybe if you shut up and let me play the game again. I tasked Muzu <laughs> with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Varuta, but now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I shall talk this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow, I stepped on a pebble. Here I go. Side on. <laughs> I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. I don't know if I wow. want to speak with the racist. Yeah. Well, it's unfortunate. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the most recent episode of Breath of the Wild. In next week's episode, we will... Conquer Divine Beast Varuta. So that'll be fucking exciting. And conquer race relations <laughs> at the same time. That'd be pretty dope. We're going to defeat racism so go ahead. and defeat Divine Beast Varuta. Go ahead and slam a like down below if you enjoyed the video. And please be sure to comment what your favorite Divine Beast is in the game. And that'll be dope. So, Epic. with all that being said, have a great day. See you all later. Bye bye. Bye. That was epic.